Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll be covering about um, booleans. So let's get started. So boolean is one of the types in Python, uh, which is represented as just the first four characters bool. So um, just like strings, int, uh, floats, uh, boolean stores specific type uh, in Python. However, boolean is much more simple. It's either true or false. A boolean variable um, can be used to determine about conditions. So this is where um, it gets useful when we are dealing with if conditions in the next video. Right? So when we do testing uh, for relation, uh, relational operators, uh, using relational operators, uh, the returned value is boolean. Right? Um, so we have things like uh, less than, less than equal, and all of those are their old Boolean operators where the return value is going to be either true or false. And calling functions or methods that returns Boolean is also another way you end up with a um, returned Boolean result. So for example, a function to determine whether um, a value is greater than the other one or uh, the string is longer than the other one, and so forth. Um, we have seen some of the Boolean um, types before, for example, when we're looking at uh, string types, uh, no, string methods, um, they have things like starts with or ends with, and the return value is Boolean. So let's have a quick look. Uh, oop, create a new one. Is that show? So here, let's create um, Ah, we were going to uh, look at the string. Let's create a string s equals this is a sentence Okay, and s has a, a starts with a help uh, string dot starts with right and basically if we give it a substring then it will tell me whether it's going to be, uh, whether it starts with the given substring or not. So you can quickly check what it returns. If it doesn't return, it will not show you this. But in this case, it will return me whether it's true or false. So it shows the type it returns. So I can do s dot starts with and check this. And obviously this will return us true. But if we just change something here like this, then suddenly um, it will change to false because uppercase t has different value to lowercase t. Okay, so that's uh, function based. And the last way is to combining booleans with logical operators, and or not. So for example, if I type true, it will highlight false. So remember the thick blue uh, text is the name that is reserved, which you cannot change. So true or false um, is going to return us. True, yes. Uh, and false or false it will return us false. True and false will return us again false. <clears throat> so more about the logics we'll be covering in two videos later. So uh, stay tuned. Okay. So those are uh, normally the three different ways that we will be interacting with the Boolean type. Okay. Ah, do note that when you do equality testing, uh, we have we use the two equal signs. So because if we use a single equal sign, that means it's an assignment uh, expression where we define or we will calculate the right hand side and store that onto the left hand side. So remember to always use double equal uh, equal signs uh, to check whether uh, uh, for the equality test rather than assigning. Okay. And is uh, also do something similar to the double equal sign, but you have to be careful because this tests the equality of identity, uh, not necessarily the value. Okay, um, I will suggest you to go and see in this link about the difference. But for this particular unit, uh, we will probably not see um, 
the use of is uh, much at all. Okay, so most likely you will stick with the equal equal sign. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at some examples. So uh, in practice, these are kind of uh, um, uh, examples that you'll end up using. And here you can post the video to check whether those expressions do result in the ones that are outlined here. But by inspection, you should be able to tell whether it's true or false. So what I'll do is just skip over some of the items and go over uh, some of the um, strange ones that you may not expect. For example, comparing strings. What does it mean by comparing strings? So in Python, when you compare strings, what it does is compare a character by character starting from uh, the very beginning. So remember strings were basically uh, containers of letters uh, and what you do is arrange them in the same order and then start comparing from the beginning. So here A will be compared with apple and then uh, the ne next character will be compared with P but here we don't have any more characters that means uh, the value on the the left hand side, the one that ran out of the letters, is smaller. Okay, in this case, hence um, the return value is true. Um, again, uh, capital A, B, C, and capital, uh, small letters A, B, C, uh, they are not equal because uh, they have different values associated with them. So we have a quick look. Um, here we are. Here, A, capital A is value 65 uh, in Python. Whereas small a has value 97. Therefore, when we compare capital A to A, then 65 is not equal to 97. Therefore, it actually stops comparing from this A and then does not match the rest because it doesn't have to check the rest remaining letters. It has already a difference. Okay. So here again, uh, Zach is smaller than Ellen. Remember, capital letters are numbered first and then followed by uh, lowercase letters. So actually, this capital Z has less value than small letter A. And therefore, uh, this value is smaller than A. So it will stop there and then say it's true because it's less than that. Okay. And when you're comparing different types, unless it has been um, specified, it will throw an error. For example, 10 cannot be um, compared with string thread. Um, in also allows you not only checking uh, the membership checks in lists or tuples, but you can also use this um, uh, in string as well to check whether the substring exists inside a string. Okay, and you can add like a not in thread to check that whether it's not in. And here you can see that it reads fairly well. You can also add brackets to differentiate which ones gets executed first. Um, here you have um, greater than or less than. Which one does it happen first? You can have a look at the next slide where uh, the order has been arranged for us. So here numeric operators will be executed first, uh, followed by um, the relational operators. And then lastly, we have not, and, and or. So that means we're going to be executing the greater than first and then less than. Once we have the results from those two expressions, we'll be looking at or between them. So 2 is not greater than 5. Uh, 3 is less than 5. So this is true. This is false. Okay. So true or false returns a true. And what we're going to do is uh, convert it into uh, the other uh, Boolean. So this returns true. Not true means false. Therefore, the re result is false. Okay, and we just checked the start with um, string method before, so you can check that with that. Similar with uh, the ends with uh, method. Okay, so we have seen um, that you can use multiple operators uh, at the same time. And in Python, uh, it does allow chaining uh, relation, relational operators as well. So for example, we want to check if an int value i is in the range low to high inclusive, then we can either write um, i is greater than or equal to low and i is less than or equal to high. Um, this, this is the syntax that uh, you normally use in most other languages like Java or C. 
but Python do allow a short version of this by typing low uh, is less than equal to i less than equal to high. So let's quickly do that. Uh, let's create low equals 10, high equals 50, and then we can arbitrarily set the value of i for something like 30, and then we check uh, low less than equal to i less than equal to high. Okay, and in Python it will automatically interpret it as equivalent to one up here, and then evaluate um, whether it's true or false. Okay. Um, but this, you should only use this um, in things like range checks or where it makes sense to um, put them in between. Otherwise, you might get a, a strange behavior. For example, we have an, an example, 5 is less than 10 equal equal false. So you may think that we're going to do this first and then uh, compare it with the false, but it's not necessarily the order that you think it might happen because even if you change this false into true this will also result in false so just quickly check that 5 less than 10 is false okay it's false 5 less than 10 is true is also false right so we can confirm that this is the case why does this happen because um, they are shorthand for 5 less than 10 and 10 equal equal false, okay? And vice versa. So uh, the second expression is 5 less than 10 and uh, 10 equal equal true. So what's happening here is that we are comparing 10 with a boolean. Um, normally, if you check whether an object of different types uh, inequality they will uh, result in false so whatever I had here uh, this right hand side brackets are all returning false and therefore the final result has been uh, returned as false so don't just trust uh, especially mixing types uh, do double check that your uh, expressions do return what you expect Um, so on that note, you can um, use non-Boolean types as Boolean operators. Uh, what it means is where you need to determine true or false to progress with your function or program, you can use non-Boolean um, objects to represent Boolean values. However, uh, this is not um, recommended to do so. But uh, it may be helpful in some situations, so it's good to know. So basically, any um, non-zero values or non-type non values uh, will result in true, and there are a few scenarios where a value will result in false. For example, uh, pretty much everything is treated as true except uh, numeric zeros. So we have, for example, integer zeros or float zeros or complex zeros or none or empty strings or empty containers, things like lists, tuples, dictionaries, etc. where we'll see the dictionary later. So quickly check that um, here. Uh, how can we check this? Uh, we'll have to use the if, if statement, which cover later. So uh, let's just quickly do that. Um, if one, print hello okay so if this one was true then it will return me hello and in this instance it did so one if I need to use the boolean um, type it has returned me true uh, let's change that to zero so if I type zero in there here you can see that it didn't return anything so zero was treated as false and similarly, I can type in 0.0, .0 or um, none here, or any other uh, ones that are specified here. So let's try the empty string as well. Then they're all uh, treated as false. 
But as soon as you add some values in, uh, non-zero or non-none or non-empty things, then they will be treated um, as true. All right. So that's uh, pretty much uh, all about Boolean types. So now we can do things like conditional uh, processing using if, con uh, if statements. All right. Uh, use of the if statement we'll see in the next video. Bye.